Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to I Mine Blocks. So in this video I've got something really cool to share with you guys. It's a mining hardware product and I think you're really going to like it. But before I get into that, just very briefly, I want to talk about um, the kind of the offers that I receive on a daily basis. So pretty much every single day I receive emails in my inbox and they're to review uh, ICOs, new coins, new exchanges, mining software, different hardware products and a lot of it is is crap. I just don't even bother responding to the emails. Not to make out that I'm, you know, a, a better person or anything like that, but a lot a lot of it is just just crap and I just don't want to share it with you guys. But from time to time I do see cool, interesting products and today's one of those days where I get the chance to review a product and share it with you guys. So I'll just tell you how this come about uh, very briefly and try not to bore you too much of the details. So a company emailed me called Aveling Incorporated and a chap there called uh, Z emailed me and he said that he had um, a new product and um, would I be interested in taking a look at it? And at first I was a little bit skeptical. Um, so I said, well, can you send me some pictures, show me the product, I'd like to see it working beforehand. And um, he said, yeah, they sent me over a few pictures, they sent me a few uh, a demo video to show me it working. And I thought, this is actually looks really good. So I, I said, yeah, please send me a sample. I'd love to share it with uh, my subscribers. So that's how the arrangement kind of uh, come about. It's not a paid promotion or anything like that. They just sent me the hardware and I basically review it in my own terms. So now I'm going to share the hardware with you and uh, well, let's take a look at it. it. It looks great, I think. Okay, so this is it. It is the Veeling Mining Sky. So from the front of the machine, it looks an awful lot like a ASIC miner. But I can tell you it's not. It's actually a lot better than an ASIC miner, I think. Just having a quick look around the side and then to the, uh, the rear briefly. I'll come back to and cover a whole lot in more detail in a moment. So what this is, is a GPU mining box platform. And we'll be taking a look inside in just a moment. But it's really quite cool and I'll take the cover off in just a second and I'll give you kind of a, a complete overall uh, breakdown. Okay, so back just starting from the side again. So this is a GPU miner box and it supports eight graphics cards. Along the front, we've got four 12 volt fans. I believe they are 120 mil fans and they're gonna be pushing the air through to the back of the case. If we take a look onto the uh, side of the the machine. You can see close down there is some PCI Express connectors, a whole row of those, and that's how the machine is uh, powered. There's an external power supply which is included, and I'll come on to that in just a moment, but this is the only power inputs for the device. So you can see mostly along the back side it's just open cavities, and you've got spaces for each one of your GPUs, like I say this supports up to eight. Further down we have a USB port, two USB ports, there's an Ethernet port and also onboard video uh, HDMI display there as well. At the other end of the, uh, we've just got a logo and branding for the device. So let's take a look at the power supply that was included and then I'll do a case opening and we'll have a close up look and see what's inside. So this is the power supply that was provided to me with the device and it comes with it as part of a package. So from the top, it kind of looks like a standard ATX power supply, but it's a little bit different. It's made by Dragonstorm, I'm not familiar with those. And it also says uh, Minor Association, a uh, commemorative edition, which is a little bit unusual. And you've also got a Bitcoin logo there as well. So quite unusual, it appears to be some kind of clone power supply, I would guess. Uh, but I've been told by the, uh, the provider, and it, also says on the, the side there, it provides up to 1600 watts. Um, a cool or interesting thing about this power supply is the power connectors. It has a whole bunch of power connectors, but it doesn't have any um, ATX uh, 24 pin connector or CPU power connectors. It, they're all just six pin PCI Express connectors. So it's kind of been custom made specifically for this job. So you can imagine this might be used or it's like a rebranded or remade version. Uh, maybe it's been used in the past um, or this design has been used in the past for like ASIC miners. I think that's where it's kind of uh, based upon 
or has that uh, um, as kind of a basis uh, for the design. So it's quite interesting, quite a unique bit of kit. So this is what can be used to power this device. So the power supply is actually a ATX style power supply, but it's fitted externally from the machine. So we're going to be using these power connectors, uh, fitting those into the side of the machine there. But now let's take a look inside of the box. Okay, so I've just moved it around. It's a full metal casing. The top lid panel is just uh, secured by two small screws on either side. So we should just be able to slide this back, get a grip on it, and then uh, wiggle that off. I'm just going to pop that to the side. Okay, so here is the uh, business end, and I'm just going to kind of rotate um, around here. So there's a few bits and pieces you can see immediately. Uh, what the providers have done, they have included some extras. So they've included eight of these because it supports eight graphics cards and they are just six pin to eight pin uh, PCI Express power connectors. And I'll explain the usage of those in just a moment, but I'll just move those out of the way. Um, and there's eight of those that have all been provided kindly by the manufacturer. So let's take a close up look inside. Just kind of give you a good view in there. And then I'll talk about the specs and design um, of this device. So what you'll notice first of all is it's kind of one huge motherboard and it has the main feature primarily is these PCI Express connectors. So it has eight full 16 times PCI Express connectors. So that's going to be really useful for miners I think because what that means is you can put your graphics cards in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you don't need any riser cables or have to worry about the extra power management. You can just put your graphics cards in side by side. They're going to get good cooling from front through to the back and out. Um, and I think that is the main benefit. So really from a, a simplicity point of view, that is going to be the main uh, benefit or feature from this device. So it's a really cool motherboard setup. Um, I'll just go through some of the details and specifications on um, what I've been told from the manufacturer. Right, so the motherboard, it appears to be um, completely custom made um, as far as I can tell from the manufacturer. There isn't any uh, labels or descriptions anywhere across the board, so I don't know who the original manufacturer is. I don't know whether these guys uh, designed it and built it themselves or whether it's just a rebrand, I'm not too sure. But it looks really cool anyway. So let's start with the processor. So the processor included is an Intel Celeron processor. I believe it's a G1840. So that's included with the whole setup. There is some RAM included. It's four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. You can see it's the laptop style short version of uh, memory. Also included is a 64 gigabyte M.2 SSD. And that's preloaded with Windows uh, 10 also, which has been um, unregistered. You guys might also notice, and I had to check this with a manufacturer, is the uh, CMOS or BIOS battery is missing. Um, at first I thought it might have popped out during transit, but I was told by the manufacturer that in fact um, they remove it before shipping um, just because it causes problems with customs, because it's like a lithium uh, battery, I, I believe, so it causes problems with uh, shipping and customs so they just remove that and they said don't worry about it just in case you guys noticed that like I did. Looking at the back of the motherboard you can see we have these six pin PCI Express power connectors and there's kind of an extra one there I'm not too sure what that <laughs> purpose that serves um, but anyway there's eight of them that are actually connected you can see there's four slightly longer ones and they're going to power your graphics cards on this side of the device and then another four shorter ones obviously for the short reach area there as well so the way it's kind of uh, designed is on the right hand side you're going to have your power supply coming in from the external power supply that's rerouted through the motherboard and then you've got your six pin PCI Express connectors and you can power each one of your graphics cards you know via these connectors of course if you have a eight pin connector card like a a GTX 1070 or something like that, for example, you can use the adapter, take it from a 6-pin to an 8-pin connector. 
you'll see at the back of the device we've got quite some heavy duty fans in the back there. So they're 12 volt fans, I believe they're 120 mil fans, but they've got quite a bit of extra depth to them. So I think they're going to be quite high um, CFM fans. They're probably going to make a lot of noise, but I haven't tested them at the moment. So I don't know how noisy they're going to be, but they look quite heavy duty and I imagine they're going to put a lot of air, air through, air flow, sorry, through the case from front to back. But that's going to help keep your GPUs cool. You've got extra slots at the top there to keep it cool as well. So when this is enclosed, you're going to get a lot of airflow from the front to the back. And I think that's going to help overall. So I think with a design like this, it's going to be a good for, you know, building these rigs quite quickly and also stacking them in a sort of safe way. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot less reduced fire risk, but I think really for the simplicity, I think that is the main um, benefit of this device. I really like the idea that you can just put in your graphics cards and then pop the lid back on and you're pretty much good to go. I really like that idea. Um, with regards to, you know, the, the main benefit is that you're not going to be uh, messing around with riser cables and a power supply adapters and all that, uh, that business, which of course causes a lot of um, time and effort to be lost, to be quite frank. So I think this will be a more stable and reliable setup. If you look just at the back there, you can see my other GPU miner. So this is kind of what we're comparing with over there. And that's what I was saying about the risers and the riser cables, the power and all that sort of stuff. It just adds complications. So this is a much more cleaner and simpler setup. Okay guys, so this has been me taking a look at the Veeling Mining Sky. So hopefully you've enjoyed uh, watching. I've enjoyed sort of sharing this product with you. From this video I'll be doing a follow up and it will be a complete GPU mining rig build including this hardware and some of my GPU so I'll be doing that as a follow up in the next video. So that's it for this video, thanks very much for watching, I'll see you guys on the next one which will be the, the mining rig build. Okay, till then, see you guys.